Hello again, and welcome back to Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire. Playing a Shinji Yang random standard map. Um, finger difficulty, I do believe. Uh, I had to decide on that one a bit, you know, I was fucking flipping through constantly. Uh, and in here in this section here, right next to Mount Planet, uh, and Lady Deidre of the Gaians has me locked in. I'm not going to make be able to make any social engineering ch changes for a while. Supporting four free units free per base, absolutely beautiful. Uh, but, it, you know, I kind of spent my money, I think, to rush by a former. So, yeah, there you go. I'm also going to plug another base here whenever I get the chance. I'm actually going to stick a sensor array there to uh, make that really efficient. You can actually build bases on sensor arrays that ends up having a sensor array that cannot be touched by the enemy, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's see here. Just go ahead and spread forest. Your job is to expand right here to this space. Put pressure on her domain. Gaians are the most powerful here right now, although it kind of helps that uh, they got secrets of the human brain. I plan on uh, getting a jump on her, though. Eventually. For now, you know, I'm pretty slow and sluggish in this game. You know, it's still been a little bit since I've played regularly. Oh, shit, brother lol. This is pretty much the, uh... <laughs> The diametric opponent of Chairman Shinji Yang. Um, Peacekeeper's brother-in-law loves democracy. Uh, Shinji Yang, uh, Chairman Yang, uh, does not, we'll say. Peacekeepers are pretty powerful, uh, but thankfully, you know, I'm not running my fucking, um, not running police state right now, so, Wow. He actually aggroed enough to do that to me. What is that? Unity Rover? Shit. I don't have, like, fucking synth metal or anything. Nah. I'm amused. I mean, I didn't cave to his fucking demand, because I'm not going to do that. I'll actually get into a fight over that. Yeah. I need to prototype this design whenever I get the opportunity. Which I think is going to be really goddamn soon. Um. You. Who's the closest to building something? How many minerals do you have invested in that? Could I say change you off that? No, not without penalty. Shit. What the fuck is this shit? Fucking worms invading my ass and everything. This sucks. Uh, Not a strong position. Prototype lasers right there. You need to cancel orders. Get in the base. Hide in there. Roads. Roads! Um, he can move two spots, so I could say move there and I'll be safe. Go ahead and road there. And... Move to this spot, I think. Fucking tease. All right, good job, Scout Patrol. You did a good job. Um, go ahead and force. Ah, shit, volcanic area. In that case, I can mine. Good. I will mine here as well. Are you just gonna stay out of my range, you little son of a bitch? He might. Uh, in that case, I better cancel the orders of you two. Uh. Go ahead and move that colony pod down there instead. If he moves to attack, well, shit, he might do that. Move there, um... Move there, I guess? And if he goes ahead and tries to attack that former, I will uh, respond by... Well, maybe I'll respond this way. 7 to 12, goddamn, Rocky. Shit. Rocky, shit. I said it. That is in a pretty fucking inconvenient spot for me. He's fucking trolling me. Opportunity cost and everything knows. Very disappoint. Very disappoint. Actually, I probably should have tried to put that there. Oops. Try to stay away. Come on, attack my base. You son of a bitch. 
motherfucker won't attack me. You want to know why? Because with my scout patrol there, I have winning odds, particularly in a perimeter defense situation. Fucking Lady Deidre, shit. Fuck you, brother lol. I hate you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and switch to police state. Burn all of my money on that, but it'll allow me to uh, get away with supporting things for free, like here. Which is good. I don't have to pay mineral costs on that stuff anymore. Go ahead and build a road there. Build a base. Um, former here doesn't matter too much at right now. So do that, then that, followed by that. Okay, prototype will be done in four turns. Planetary networks are done, which means that I can switch to planned whenever I can afford it. It also means that I can build a probe team, which I will get on with doing. I think after this builds, I'll go ahead and build a probe team. That'll be good. That should be good. Fucker. Fucking Unity Rover. <laughs> Fucking Unity Rover. Some may argue that it wasn't worth getting into a fight over that. Whatever. No bitch. Especially not the brother Law. Fucking asshole. You're peace and harmony and tranquility. Fuck you. That's all I got to say. Roads. I should be building more colony pods, but that's there. If I build another scout patrol, or, you know, I should probably try to be... Try to... I could probably wing that. I could probably wing it. Um... I could try winging it. No, winging's probably a bad idea. I'll build that. That'll be good enough. I can build the human genome project. Um, build a mine. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, what? I'm confused. I stopped being confused, everybody. It's cool. I'm a professional. Sweet. Brother Law, the Peacekeeper, actually uh, completed his first prototype pretty soon ago. That's cool. Glad I got him all motivated and shit. That's awesome. Totally. Uh, just go ahead and just build roads there. I want you to move to that space. And then I am going to uh, fucking evict his ass next turn. If he attacks me on that rocky space, I should have superior odds. If I don't, and I lose that, I'm going to be pissed. Just so you know, I'm going to be pissed. Go ahead and move to this spot. Ah, he fucking chickened out, little bitch. Get the fuck out of my place. My house. And I will protect this house. Alright, so... Go ahead and move there. He won't be able to actually escape from me either, so he can attack one of these spots. Good, I'll have an advantage there. Um, I'll wait with that guy. Roads there, and let's go ahead and move roads there. What are you going to do with your fucking Unity Rover asshat? Go fuck yourself. Chairman Grimmeth wins the first planetary battle against Brother Law, the Peacekeepers. But in terms of what he paid for that, I'm sure, as you know, is a fucking Unity Rover, which means he got it from a supply pod, which are pretty rare on this map, since I disabled their appearances except in, like, spawn locations. The advantage that he got from that there, I can't begin to estimate what I paid. Giving him Doctrine Loyalty may, may have been the better play there. I admit that. I admit mistakes were made. <laughs> I, 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 I can accept that and still uh, live with myself. Alright. Regardless, um, I have a colony pod which will be developing here in five turns. 
and I will certainly roll with that. You'll notice that I'm not using governors. For those of you who saw my last game, I'm definitely going to do everything in my power to make up for not microing last game last year by fucking microing this one. I'm proud of myself. I'm a big kid. Um, next up will be industrial economics. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Holy shit! Wow. That's like a fucking invasion force of like a scout rover and wow. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I gotta say fucking brother Lol there was fucking pretty serious whenever he challenged me to fisticuffs. I have never seen him, I never seen the peacekeepers this aggressive. At any time I played this game. This is amazing. I'll go ahead and stay in there then. Where is he going? I'm actually kind of worried about that enough to want to keep track. Because that's pretty serious. Uh, remove the fungus there. Go ahead and actually build a sensor array there. Shit. Build a sensor right here, too. Um, build one here. Quickly defend that spot. I don't know where the fuck he's going, but that actually got me a little on edge there. Bitch. Hate you. <laughs> How am I supposed to kill you now? You're like fucking freaking me out with goddamn shit like that. Okay. Yeah. Probe team here, I'm going to use to infiltrate uh, Deidre's data links. Alright, weather paradigm has been completed. Increases terraforming speed by 50%. Formers may build condensers and boreholes that may raise or lower terrain. I'm looking for that for the uh, turn advantage, which will come with increased speed there. Now I'm going to uh, plug in these tanks, which will definitely be helpful there. Colony pod, you don't need to build another one of those. Switch to... Um... Actually, another laser infantry unit. That'll be fine. Um, let's see here. I could build a base here. I might. Actually, yeah. Switch that to a colony pod. You go ahead and build a sensor array there. Fucking paranoid about the shit, what the shit he might be doing now. I guess I should have built a sensor array there. Oh well, I'll get over it. Not the first time I made a boo boo. Empath Guild, god damn. How did she get that that quickly? It couldn't have just been from a beeline. She must have gotten like a favorable uh, pop or something from a supply pod. That is going to be so obnoxious. Oh my god. Having the Empath Guild this early, it's going to give her contact info with every other faction in the game. And it's also going to give her, which means it, it's going to give her the ability to call for planetary elections. And it's going to double her vote count. And she's going to call for that, because the AI always does. And I presume it'll be like between Deidre and Lol, and oh, I don't even have the tech to try and stop her on that one. The best I can do is fucking raise an army and crush the bitch. Okay. I can build a road there. Nope. Center of the volcano is the center of a volcano. I can accept that. Um, let's see here. After you build that colony pod, go ahead and work on human genome project. Oh shit, I'm already building that. After that, go ahead and work on the virtual world, which will be great. Alrighty. Um, sure. Uh, 50 credits? I can't afford that. Could you give me doctrine flexibility? Nope. Make a trade or stop wasting my time. Infiltrate data links. 
Infiltrating someone's data links is the first probe team action you should always take on someone. Like, <laughs> like it better be the fucking first. She has six bases. Guy's landing is obviously her most powerful one. God damn, I lost the probe team. Shit. She's building it there? Yeah, one turn until completion. Damn. Well, then again, you know, I'm still not too comfortable with, like, all the bonuses and stuff they might get, so I'm not sure. Girl, let's go ahead and build this base here. Um, have a former come out? No. Recycling tanks first, then that, then that. I have enough formers around to help give this fucking place an advantage. You need to stop building formers. Instead, focus on, uh, protein. And then build another probe team, and then a network node. Go ahead and road there, that'll be fine. Uh, you go here to take care of that space. Obnoxious, Deidre, and Lol. Now, uh, fucking, uh, fucking brother Lol does not fucking play around. Uh, courtesy of the Peacekeeper, a bonus he gets is I think he's able to double his votes. Or he gets, like, double votes for, like, Planetary Governor, I believe. Or at least it's, like, plus 50%. Um, I think the Empath Guild will double your votes as well. I actually don't remember. At any rate, he still has higher natural pop than Lady Deidre. And he's actually getting help from Morgan and Santiago. I'm gonna go ahead and vote for Deidre on this one. Uh, mainly because, um, Lol and I are diametrically opposed. Shit! Law, of course, you know. It's a fucking enemy. <sighs> Obnoxious. So that completely blows my plan out of the water to uh, declare war on uh, Lady Deidre Sky here. And I'm actually fucking nervous now of switching to this. Which is something that I should have done earlier, and I actually am nervous of doing now. Because she loves green economics. To be implanned... Or free market makes her angry. But that mineral cost reduction and the increased growth rate, that's just too powerful for me to pass up. I'm going to have to risk that. And if I have to fucking bulldoze through her... Well, on the bright side, I'm actually exposed to uh, meeting people now, which is cool. So I can actually go ahead and meet with some people here. Like, ah, the ruthless chairman Grimmeth, first among hive. I leave the university... Provost Zakharov. Uh, would you like to give me nonlinear mathematics? Then fucking stop wasting my time. Sure, we all strive to increase our knowledge. Let's go ahead and meet with Santiago here. I don't really... No. Can't afford to get into another war situation. Yes, thank you. Usefulness. Trading. Particle impactor. Fuck yes. Absolutely. Doctrine flexibility, give me access to foil, uh, basically like ships there. And uh, doctrine mobility will give me access to uh, speeders, which is great. Mm, no, not that though. Fair enough, but I shall guard my borders with my teeth. Now I'm going to exploit the system a little bit, because I feel like being an asshole here. Actually, not with that. I'm going to, oh Jesus. Let's see here. I'm going to turn my uh, my politics there off to, like, you know, Frontier and Simple and have talks with Morgan and Miriam. That way, they're not angry at me. Shh, it's a way to exploit the system. I'm just showing you guys this once. And Miriam. I fucking hate you. Well, not Chairman Griffith, I am now called Sister Miriam and act as the voice of the believers whose intent is to embrace the truth of the good Lord's scripture. See, you and your minions have flourished on this unforgiving world. I must caution you that my engineers have completed advanced recon rover prototype. She's actually pathetic in might? That's fucking weird as hell. Stop wasting my fucking time. Weird as fucking hell. Alright, switch back. Weird as hell. The strongest factions in this game right now being, uh... The Gaians, 
with B and the peacekeepers, the Spartans, believers usually don't end up that low on the fucking stick. But you know, I'm totally cool with that. Whatever. <laughs> a game in which the believers are not a threat, I'm alright with that. <laughs> Complaining? Me? No fucking way. Alright, there's actually a force there that I claim from uh, Gaia's Landing, so sweet. That improves my efficiency. Alright. Right, 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 I forgot. I'll go ahead and build a sensor there. Oh shit, I was supposed to. Whatever. I was supposed to whatever. One, two, right there. Did I build this like a sensor base? I did build a sensor array right next to a sensor array. That's funny. I heard you like sensor arrays, so I put sensor arrays by your sensor arrays, so you can sense while you sense. <laughs> True story. All right. Um, I'll actually build another one of these laser infantries, then switch to that. Mm. Actually, switch to that. I um. I want the merchant exchange there because Lord knows fucking Yang needs help in generating energy. Lord knows Yang needs help. The command center each base thing, not as big of an impact. What else am I building? Virtual world, how far away is that? 39 turns? Oh, dick. Hold on, let me check my data links here. No, um... Let me check... Secret project data. Who's building what? Okay, I need to worry about a human genome project. That's imperative to finish. And that'll be finished in eight turns. It'll have to be good enough, I hope. The virtual world. Merchant exchange, virtual world. Merchant exchange, virtual world. Merchant exchange, virtual world. That matters more. Virtual world pretty much counts as a hologram theater. Uh, for your all of your network nodes, your network nodes count as like a free building, so they count like two buildings. So you get to save on maintenance, and you get the benefits of hologram theaters, which is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, so the command nexus is actually not that important. You know, I was planning on you know mounting an offensive and everything, but still, yeah, I'll go ahead and throw that one off the bus. Just go ahead and build more sensor arrays. Um, go ahead and build laser infantry, followed by protein, followed by... Actually, you know, I might end up changing that. S design workshop. I wish to make impact infantry. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Maybe I'll fucking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two prototypes stacked on top of each other. That's going to be fun. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Alright everyone, that was it for me in this video. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. If you're lost or confused, it's okay. I am too. Next time on Let's Get On With It, after I speed build that, next time, I guess I will uh, continue to see if I can kick ass. It'll be a doozy. I think. One more thing. There we go. Yep. Bye everybody.